this video, I'm going to show you how to record with Camtasia. I'm actually using Snagit to show you how to use Camtasia. Snagit is a inexpensive, basically little brother to Camtasia by TechSmith. And you can see it's about $50. Camtasia is my preference. They do have teacher versions that you can buy direct from Camtasia, which are less expensive. Um, but and you can also get the bundle with Camtasia and Snagit, which is actually what I have. Snagit's pretty good. I like Camtasia better. It has more full-featured editing. If you have Camtasia and are working on Windows, Mac is a little cheaper and it's not as uh, complex of a program, but it's a little easier to use as well. You're really going to buy whatever you have for your operating system, and since most people have Windows, I'm demonstrating that today. So I saved my link to Camtasia down in my taskbar. So I'm going to launch it. And it gives you the option to select your size. I'm going to choose full screen. You can choose if you want to have a specific area, but I'm again using full screen. I typically teach with my webcam off. I don't want to have to do my hair and makeup to do video recordings. And for audio, it's important to make sure that you have selected the correct audio input. The best sound results are going to be with a good quality headset. You can choose whether or not you're going to record the system audio. And you can test here. You can see where you're talking if your volume is OK. Once you've done that, you're going to hit record. And it's having an issue slight because I'm also using Snagit at the same time to record Camtasia. So now I'm recording actually both in Camtasia and in Snagit. And so I would go through, show you how to use something, and do a whole bunch of demonstrations. And then when I'm done, I will hit F10. F10 will bring up the so show. now I'm recording actually both in Camtasia. So that will bring up the save and edit screen. And you should automatically save before you edit. And this one I'm just going to name junk because I'm just going to delete that recording. And then once you've done that, it will launch, except I'm already rendering a project, it will launch the editing window, which I've done another video on how to process and share your Camtasia video on YouTube. 